Number six from paper two of the 2017 New Hire Maths. Here we go. The double angle equation for five marks. Notice though, it's in radians. No degree signs. This confirms it here. Best thing to do is just put your calculators into radians to begin with. Well, sign here, cos will go to the ones with the square. So I'm looking for sine squared, which is negative. So I'll just keep it the way it is. That would actually be ideal because that will expand into 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Now you could just take it across just now, maybe we'll just write it out again. So 5 sine x minus 4 is going to be 2 minus 4 sine squared x. So bringing it all over to this side, I'll have 4 sine squared x plus 5 lots of sine x, which was waiting, taking 2 across and subtracting it, minus 6 equals 0, as the quadratic in sine x that you need to solve. Right, hopefully it'll factorise. Then, what have we got? Multiply to give 6 after being multiplied by something here to have a difference of 5. It's either 4 and 1 or 2 and 2 for 2. 2's are 8, 4 sine x times 2, sine x times 3, then you'll have plus 8 minus 3 gives 5. Next part, well, if they multiply to give 0, either this is 0, in which case sine x is 3 quarters, that's fine, well it's not fine because I don't know that one, I'll have to use a calculator, or in this case, sine x would have to be negative 2, which is even better because that won't work. There's no solution to that. don't know if you have to justify that or not. Justifying it would mean to say something like, well, sine x has to be between, or go from, 1 to negative 1. And it's not there, so there's no solution. For this one, though, I'll have to get the calculator out. Inverse sine of 3 quarters, but pop it into radians straight away. And then you'll get... 0 0.8480 and so on. Now, how are you going to round it off? Well, they'll be quite lenient, I think, in the marking of this, whether you keep three or two. Shouldn't we go for just one, though? What you should really go for, though, is if you're used to going for one, one tenth of a degree, one decimal place for degrees, you should really go for three decimal places for radians to get the same sort of size of small variation in the angle. But that's only one answer. The other answer will be, you can either just draw the little cast diagram, all sine, tan, cos. The sine is positive. So either this acute angle is here in the first quadrant, or it's here in the second one. And if it's in the second one, it's short of 180. Or if I'm thinking in pi, thinking in radians, it's short of pi. So the angle I want will be pi minus that. Maybe I'll put it down. Pi minus 0 0.8480 and so on. So now I have my two answers. So the first one obviously rounded off is 848. The second one's going to be, I've already got that in the calculator, so I'll just do minus pi. And forget the negative. 2.2935 and so on. So I'll just round that off to 2.294. You shouldn't need to write radians because that's implied by the absence of the little degree sign.